the Oasis Senior Center is bingo and we have bingo every Thursday afternoon at the Oasis Senior Center and I have three of our five representatives here for our bingo. Our first Thursday of the month belongs to the Maple Ridge and Georgina Tisdale. Uh, the second Thursday of the month belongs to the Oasis with uh, Sandy Johnson in charge of that. The third um, Thursday of the month belongs to the U of I Extension with Sri Locke. The fourth Thursday of the month belongs to the AARP with Miss Judy Morrow. And the fifth Thursday of the month belongs to a sorority, which I have no idea what their name is. The fifth Thursday of the month belongs to the, a sorority, Beta Sigma Phi, with Lois Vinoy and uh, Janet Van Bibber as our hosts for that. Now let me turn it over to Sandy and these ladies to talk a little bit about their bingo. This is Dale and I'm with Maple Ridge Care Center. We do the first Thursday of each month with the bingo. We have a great participation from the seniors in this area and we also bring out our residents to participate in the community. Um, we have great prizes and great snacks as they all say and one of the things that I'm privileged with is that I made lots of great friends here. Hi, I'm Sandy Johnson. Uh, we have a potluck the second to Thursday every month, and following the potluck, the Oasis sponsors bingo. Uh, we give prizes. Uh, most of the people, or a good many of them that are at the potluck, stay and enjoy bingo with us. And we call it mystery bingo. The prizes are boxed up in little sacks. They get numbers on them. So it's kind of a surprise what they get. They might get a sack of candy, or they might get a hand lotion, or maybe a figurine, or something like that. And uh, they all seem to enjoy it. It usually starts around 1 o'clock, and it's usually over between 2.30 and 3. I'm Cherie Locke. I represent the University of Illinois Extension. And we come on the third Thursday of each month at 1 o'clock, and we do nutritional bingo. We try to um, discuss a little bit about what are healthy food choices, what things we should eat a little bit more of, and what we should eat a little less of. Our prizes are always healthy food choices, and we do a good job of getting sure, making sure that each And here's another one of our programs here at the Oasis Senior Center. We refer to it as our Share Food Program. It's a self-help and uh, exchange program. It's run by the Peoria Diocese. And I have with us the chairperson of that particular program is Mr. John Sutton in the center. To his right is Miss Donna Moore. And to his left is Miss Levita Zerkammer. And they're going to tell you just a little bit about the SHARE, pro share program and how you can participate in that particular program. SHARE Food is a cooperative buying venture. Um, we pool our money, and this is a nationwide uh, venture. But here in Central Illinois, we pool our money through a, Chicago, or through a Peoria office and we cooperatively buy food, which lets us, gives us great purchasing power. For a $15 basic food package, you get um, four kinds of meat, assorted fruits and vegetables. And retail, this runs about $28 to $30 worth of food for the $15. Um, we also have a vegetable pack, which is eight, which is basically the same package as uh, the regular with no meat. There's usually an extra item each month, and that's a, a very good buy for the amount of money. Easiest way to sign up is to come to the Oasis on our distribution day. The next one will be February the 22nd, and you sign up. We ask that in addition to the $15 that you do two hours of community service sometime during the month. That's the only requirements, $15 and two hours of community service. There's no income guidelines, no other guidelines. And that's our program, we do it once a month. I'd like to introduce you to Ms. Georgina Tisdale from the Maple Ridge um, Healthcare Center. And Georgina's group and the Oasis are gonna partner up to reintroduce the Alzheimer's support group and program uh, with the OASIS. Georgina, can you tell us a little bit about the Maple Ridge Healthcare and what you do there and why we're partnering up to do this kind of a support group? 
Um, I'm the Admission and Marketing Director for Maple Ridge Care Center. And at this time, we do have some residents that have Alzheimer's or dementia. And it has been an increasing situation in our facility, and I get tremendous phone calls from families that need some kind of support group. So Don and I have agreed to go ahead and partner in together, and I would go ahead and facilitate the um, program. I've talked to the Alzheimer's Association in Springfield, and what we're going to do first is educate the community. We're going to get um, physicians and community um, sponsorship through the area and have a seminar so we can redirect these people and redirect um, family members and spouses that have this problem with their relatives and that they need some kind of support group. This, uh, this disease is truly, uh, truly a problem, not only for the person who has a disease, but for all the family members who are trying desperately to get their loved ones some support and to find some, um, some solace and some support for themselves. And Georgina and the Oasis Senior Center would like to help those individuals in their quest to provide support for themselves and their family during their uh, loved one's terribly de debilitating disease. One of the things that Maple Ridge offers too is um, respite care and that gives family members a little bit of time to be able to go ahead and regroup a little bit and get their strength back to go ahead and deal with um, their loved ones. We thank you and if you know of any family member or any persons that require the assistance of an Alzheimer's support group and would like to participate, uh, uh, Ms. Tisdale and myself are going to be trying to get this thing off the ground so we would like to hear from you so that you could be part of our uh, database so that we can contact you when the actual group gets formed so that you could participate in it. Thank you. Another one of our many services that we offer at the Oasis Senior Center is with Ms. Joyce Sturt of the Hearing Aid Center located on 1201 Woodlawn Road. Joyce, when our, tell us a little bit about, first of all, just tell us a little bit about the Hearing Aid Center. The Hearing Aid Center, uh, I've been doing this for 18 years and I've been down here in Lincoln for eight years. And I'm not sure how long I've been coming up here to the Oasis, what, two or three years? Yeah, at least. And uh, basically what I do whenever they come in, so many people really don't know whether they have a hearing loss or not, and I just check and make sure that there's no wax, and that's probably two out of three. That's usually what the problem is. Uh, just use an otoscope. Uh, no, it doesn't hurt. And then we do a, a screening, and actually we have uh, different types of from mild, moderate to severe, but all I do is just make sure that if it's not wax, then we make sure that there's, if there is a hearing loss, I tell them, and there's no charge for that. And it doesn't take 10, 15 minutes from start to finish. So it's a free service. It's a free service. Uh, it's provided in conjunction with the Hearing Aid Center and the Oasis Senior Center, and the, it's just painless. Painless. And a lot of times, uh, if, if they do have hearing aids, we'll clean them for them. Uh, a lot of times they just get plugged up with wax, a lot of times they just have the battery in wrong or have some bad batteries and we just check the hearing aids out and make sure that they're working for them. And no, there's never a charge. There's never a charge for any of these, uh, any of these services that the Hearing Aid Center provides with the uh, Oasis Senior Center. And it's a very short time as far as following up on uh, the hearing test and you have the results and if, if a person were to need hearing aids, they can, you give them the results, they can go to anyone so they, they wish. To. Mm -hmm. to to purchase the hearing aids. Exactly. You do offer that service, though, I right? I do offer that, but sometimes they've got their own audiologist that they go to, and that's that's fine, too. Okay. Um, again, an example of a free service that's offered here. When is it offered, by the way? I don't think I covered that. It's uh, the first Wednesday of each month from 10 until noon. And do you take appointments or can people just walk, walk in? in? You can just walk in. It's preferred, because Joyce has to bring some uh, machinery in here, as you can see. Uh, it's preferred if you would call ahead and get an appointment. That way she knows exactly how many people that she's going to be seeing that particular day. And it's a free service. Um, if you're a particular husband or wife saying that you can't hear, this is a good place to send them on the first Wednesday of the month between 10 and noon to see if they can actually hear or can't hear. I have with me uh, Mark Patterson, who works for the Illinois Department of Veteran Affairs. And Mark's here with us on each Tuesday to help some of the veterans in Logan County with uh, some of the services that their particular agency uh, provides. 
Mark, how long have you been partners here with the Oasis Senior Center? Um, we've been over here for a little over five years now. Um, originally we came from the courthouse and we like to stay in the area uh, to be kind of regional to where the county recorder's office is so that we can obtain discharges for people in order to file for their benefits for the veterans and the dependents of the county. Mm -hmm. What kind of services do you offer the veterans um, of yeah. Logan County? Anything that has to do with a service-connected compensation claim or a pension claim if a, a wartime era veteran ha has low income or their uh, widow has low income, uh, there's some, some uh, programs that the VA has that we can uh, help them apply for. Uh, VA home loan guarantee certificates we do here as well. Uh, we can advise people on educational claims and file for anything that's uh, veterans related with the state. As, a, as just an organization or a, a state entity, uh, is there a particular program do you feel like people don't know about that they're not taking enough of advantage of as far as the veterans go or is, is the word out pretty much on all of those? Or? Well, one of the hottest items right now is, is the uh, prescription program that the VA has where if you're uh, willing to go to a VA facility and, and be uh, treated by a VA physician, uh, uh, low-cost prescription medications available as long as it's provided by the VA. Uh, currently that's uh, seven dollars per prescription for a 30-day supply and it would cost fifteen dollars for the initial office visit based on your income. That's the maximum charge uh, It could possibly be no charge for the medication. Okay, are there any are there other services that the uh, that the families of veterans can come and see you about that they don't, you know, they per, they personally didn't serve in the services, but their families or their loved one did, so to speak. Are there other those kinds of services? Yeah, um, the VA has a, a burial uh, benefits that go along with a wartime service. If somebody's uh, or actually anybody's service, as long as they were honorably discharged, um, it's based on the fact that. Uh, if the, the veteran is in receipt of a monthly check, there may be some actual reimbursement the VA would provide for that family uh, for the burial expenses. Um, other than that, the VA uh, has a cemetery system that runs the national cemeteries and uh, they can be uh, interred at a national cemetery and a flag will be provided at the time of burial. And if they want to be buried in a private cemetery, they can also have a marker provided and a flag at the time of burial as well. I know that uh, the one other uh, item I want to mention is that Mark was really instrumental in uh, getting Judy Barr Topeka, the treasurer of the state of Illinois, here to present a quote lost medal that was found in a uh, uh, storage box or, or a security box or whatever and it was presented to Iona Boyd just this last week. It was a purple heart. Uh, so we appreciate Mark being cognizant of those types of programs and making us at the Oasis Senior Center aware of those programs so that we can meet the needs of the veterans of Logan, Logan County. Here's one of our activities of a crochet club and here with us today we have Miss Ella Graney to my immediate right, Miss Bernice Hackett and Miss Leona Donath are here with us and they're crocheting. Leona, can you tell us when the Crochet Club meets? Uh, when it meets, it meets on Wednesdays from 12.30 to 2. 12.30 to 2. Mm -hmm. And what different types of crochet things do you do here? Can you teach people how to do different kinds of crocheting if they're interested? That's right. We do help people learn to, to crochet. From okay. the basics clear on as far as they like to go. From the basics to whatever the most complicated thing is. Okay, well what is the most complicated part of crocheting? Uh, learning <coughs> to hold your hook and uh, the yarn in your fingers so that you have the right tension on all these things. And having the mental fortitude to do it, I might add, because that would probably drive me crazy <laughs> in a short time. Um, step a wall. Step, step. Okay. Is there um, is there anything else? Does someone have to do anything in order to become a, a part or a part of the crochet club, or no, you just all they need to do is come and join us on Wednesdays, and uh, we'll take it from there. And after you make an item, what do you do with it? Well, usually we put it in our gift shop here. Okay, so all the proceeds from this go back into helping this center operate. That's right, that's right. 
Okay. Well, thank you, ladies, very much. And on our tour of our facility here, we have, uh, we have a, a regulation pool table that was donated by the Legion, I believe. Um, this pool table is uh, it's actually level now, so that these guys, and if you're just looking for a, a game of pool, uh, such as Les and Dean are participating in today and, and Les of course has all the balls set up by the pocket so that he can make every shot which I find to be extraordinary in and of itself but nonetheless these uh, if you if you're interested in playing pool we have pool on the weekends as well as cards and if you want to come out and just enjoy yourself with a game of pool we publish the winners each week in the Oasis report as most of you know, the think tank operates on the basis of a, a speaker's bureau for the most part. And today is no exception. We have a special guest speaker today whose name is Lyle Reed. Lyle comes with a vast amount of experience in his field, which is a teacher. And Lyle's been a teacher in District 27 for over 25 years. And we all are looking forward to this presentation. Lyle, what are you going to be talking about? Well, good morning. First of all, I feel very privileged to be here at the Oasis this morning. I want to talk about something near and dear to my heart, education, teaching children and working with kids. And it's working especially with children who perhaps think they're failures, but yet can be successes in the long run. So I'd like to talk to you about that and also perhaps encourage other people to go into teaching and mentoring. And I appreciate very much being here. Thank you, Lyle. I have with me today Ms. Darlene Freeman who is our representative of the Circuit Breaker Program. And the Circuit Breaker Program is a, sponsored by the Department of Aging through Project Life and through the Area Department of Aging. Uh, it's a grant that the Oasis Senior Center participates in along with two other sources in Logan County uh, to administer the Circuit Breaker Program. We'll tell you a little bit about the Circuit Breaker Program. Uh, Darlene, what what exactly is the Circuit Breaker Program? What does it cover? Okay, Circuit Breaker Program is a two-part program. Um, the first part is it helps some with your taxes. You can get a reimbursement on taxes, partial. It's done on a sliding scale. And also on um, a sticker for your car, the license plate. And the pharmaceutical part is for uh, your prescriptions. Now, I, you have to be, I think, if I remember all these things correctly, uh, is you have to be 65 years of age or older or be disabled right, to participate? Right, totally disabled. 16 years of age and totally disabled or older. Or 65 years right. and older. And what are, do you know offhand what the income requirements are? Um, for a single person, it's 21218 for a two person it's 28480 and for three person or more it's 35740 okay so if a person what what we want to i think get across to our viewers is is that uh, if if they don't particularly qualify for this program but if they know someone that does they could have that person call the Oasis and schedule appointments. Now, when are you here at the Oasis to do those appointments? Um, I'm here on Mondays from 9 till 3.30 or 4. And then twice a month we go out into the communities, the outlying towns. Now, that's another part of the program that we've just added this year, where we're going out in the communities, and we have, uh, we have 14 communities that make up Logan County. Right. And we service seven of the western communities on one Tuesday out of the month, then the seven of the eastern communities on the other Tuesday of the month. And that van, for that particular schedule, it's posted in the OASIS uh, report. report. And for folks that wish appointments for that van, they should call the Oasis? Yes, and they also need to call the Oasis for appointments on Monday. So they need to call either way on yes. that. But our van will be out in their communities uh, as through April of this year, and we'll be looking to provide services in their communities so that they don't have to travel to Lincoln if they don't wish to. Right. Um, is there anything else about this program that uh, really we could tell our audience in just a, a brief minute? Um, it's very important for the seniors and the ones that qualify because if they qualify they get prescriptions for three dollars and that's quite a discount. And it really is, uh, it, just to emphasize this, uh, lots of times seniors have been through so much and are so independent that they 
don't feel like they deserve or want to participate in any of the uh, programs that the state offers. This particular program is financed through the uh, tobacco monies. As you may have recalled, there was these large suits and millions and billions of dollars was released. And these are monies that the seniors have earned anyway. And we really encourage all seniors if you qualify for this program, please take advantage of it. It's, it's there for you to take advantage of. And if you don't know, or if you don't qualify, but you know someone, please talk to them about uh, coming to see us about this particular program.